how do we align the primary and secondary axis at the same zero so that the charts that we have are more presentable when we have a combo chart? In this table, as we see, we have the decile of net debt balances of North American public companies ranging from one, minus $127 million to $2.8 billion. The year-to-date return of the same stocks as of three different months, April 24th, May 26, and June 26. Let's assume that we want to plot all of these on one chart as we see the year-to-date returns are in percentages and the net debt balances are in millions of dollars. I select my data points, selecting Control alt as well as the time series that I want to plot, which are the net debt balances as well as the returns. Click on Insert, Charts, and I choose the column chart. Right click, change chart type, select the combo chart. And in this case, we can have net debt balance and then the primary axis and have it to be a line chart. And the rest to be a clustered column chart, the returns in this case. And we put them on the secondary axis. As we see, as the net debt balances goes up, the returns go down, and that's what we would expect for the different deciles of the data. But notice the 0% line for the returns and the zero line for the primary axis are not aligned, and that creates a confusion for the reader when they look at the data or when they look at the plot. So one way to fix this is to Click on, the, click on the axis, axis options, and to match the ratio of the maximum to the minimum bounds of the primary and secondary axis. In this case, the primary axis is 3,500 over 500, which is 7, and we can match it to the ratios of the minimum to the maximum, which is minus, which is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.25 times 7 which is 1.75, and we can set it to 1.75 as a maximum bound and 2.5 as the minimum bound. So now we have master ratios of the maximum and minimum of both axes. But as we notice, the charts are not proportional. The column steps, the, co the column charts looks pretty small and the net debt balances look quite large and it's not very visible. And we can apply the same thing, applying the ratio of the secondary maximum to the minimum bounds of the, of the secondary axis to the primary axis, so we might actually face the same problem. Another way to address this issue is to just cap the maximum to the minimum bound to minus 50%. So in this case, for the primary axis, we can set the minimum to minus 3,000 and the primary to 3,000. And for the secondary axis, we can set the primary minimum minus 0.25 and the maximum to 0.25. And notice the plot looks way more presentable. We have covered the whole range of the data from minus 127 million to 2.8 billion, as well as minus 22% to 16%, and the zeros are aligned.